Lesson 6.4a, Interpreting Graphs. We can describe a relationship from a graph and also draw a graph from a description. We determine where the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. We analyze the rate of change to see if the function is changing quickly or slowly. We describe what these features mean for the problem and use them to draw the graph. So I want you to remember if our graph is rising to the right, it's a positive slope. And if it's falling to the right, it's a negative slope. And if it's horizontal, well, then it's constant. So here we have a graph and we can see it goes steady and then it raises up, raises up, and then starts falling. A public swimming pool is open from May to October each year. And the graph shows the number of people who visit the pool each season. Segment 1 is a horizontal line indicating that the number of people was constant. Segment 2 shows a steep incline indicating that the number of people increased sharply. And segment 3 shows a less steep incline. It's not as steep as 2, indicating that the number of people increased, but at a lesser rate than segment 2. We can speculate that the number of people increased dramatically in segment 2 because school is on break for the summer. That's from June to July. And segment 4 shows a steep decline as it's approaching September and summer is ending. And segment 5 decreases to zero as it is the end of the season when the pool is going to close. So a positive slope shows the attendance is increasing and a negative slope shows the attendance is decreasing. Looking at the graph, we can see the highest section three is when the greatest number of people visited the pool. Here's the number of people, and that's the highest point. And when the graph line rises to the right, it's a positive slope, and when it falls to the right, it's a negative slope. So we can see the number of people are decreasing. Now take a look at this graph this is the number of customers, and this is the months that the business was open. Look what happens. It goes steady. It increases. It increases slightly. Then it falls dramatically all the way down to the x-axis, where y is zero. And then it goes up, and then it's constant again. But look, it's higher than in the beginning. We have a constant here, but now it's raised up. So we can imagine a scenario that will fit this graph. We can think the store had a big sale, sold a lot of things, and then closed for remodeling, and then reopened to a slight increase of steady customers. We can see section 1 and 6 are constant, and sections 2, 3, and 5 show an increase. We have an increase, an increase, and then we have another increase here. And we can see that section 4 is a decrease. Maybe the sales dropped here because as they had the sale, they got rid of a lot of their merchandise and had fewer things for people to buy until it gradually fell when they closed the store to remodel it. We could think of any situation that could fit this graph. We're finished with 6.4a. We're moving on to b, matching graphs to situations. Enjoy the rest of your day and join me for the next part of a lesson. Bye.